Dubai never fails to amaze us, and it goes without saying that these 13 Unreal Engineering marvels are no exception. Let's talk about them in detail. Dubai's Floating Underwater Railway Have you ever imagined riding an underwater train? Well, then Dubai's Floating Underwater Railway is a wonderful project to start with. The engineers in the United Arab Emirates have suggested a high-speed train link between Dubai and Mumbai, India, traveling 1,200 miles underwater in under two hours. It was proposed by the National Advisor Bureau of the United Arab Emirates who wanted to build an underwater bullet train to connect Mumbai with Fujairah. The idea of an underwater rail connecting Mumbai and Dubai is a monumental task. The main goal is to build an undersea direct train network that would allow the visitors to travel non-stop from Mumbai to Dubai, and it will need a significant amount of financial capital to make this work. The train will likely travel this distance at a speed of between 600 and 1,000 km per hour, which will undoubtedly surpass the speed of an airplane in terms of both speed and advanced features. The concept is based on a well-known technology used in floating bridges, immersed tunnels, and offshore buildings. The floating underwater tunnels might be made up of two curving concrete tubes submerged beneath the Arabian Sea's surface. These undersea tubes will be stabilized by connecting them to pontoons through which ships can travel. These tubes will be installed at a depth sufficient to avoid water traffic and weather. The tunnel will also be waterproof, allowing it to resist salty ocean and endure hydrostatic stresses. Creating a vacuum within the tunnel will allow trains to travel at breakneck speeds due to reduced air resistance. Creek Tower The quest to build the world's tallest building never ends, with greater and more astonishing heights reaching. Called the Creek Tower, it is believed to be the world's tallest building and man-made structure, surpassing Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Tower, which is expected to reach a height of 1,008 meters. Under the direction of Imar Properties, the Dubai Creek Tower's development started in 2016. It is also known as the Dubai Creek Harbor Tower or the Iconic Tower. The previous title was displayed on the foundation stone at the building site, however, the name Dubai Creek Tower is used more often by the media and the public. It was designed by Spanish-Swiss architect Santiago Calatrava Valls. The cable arrays are the most distinguishing element of Dubai Creek Tower which was inspired by the ribbing of lily leaves. These strong cables connect the tower to the anchors placed on the ground on two sides of the tower, making the construction more solid and safe to be erected to heights of more than 1300 meters. The area is being developed as part of a major project called Dubai Creek Harbor. Numerous new structures will be constructed, and Dubai Creek Harbor is intended to become a new neighborhood in Dubai, similar to Dubai Marina, Business Bay, and downtown Dubai. The Creek Tower will serve as the complex's centerpiece and heart. The district's centerpiece was initially meant to be a pair of twin skyscrapers that would become the world's highest twin towers, but they were later replaced with the present Creek Tower. Palm Jumeirah The Palm Jumeirah is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Dubai. It is also the biggest man-made archipelago established as a result of land reclamation. The Palm Jumeirah is one of three islands that comprise the Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Deira complex. While Palm Jumeirah Island is done and available to visitors, Jebel Ali Island is currently under development, so you won't be able to view it. The Palm Jumeirah was constructed from 120 million cubic meters of seabed sand. In addition, 7 million tons of rocks were transported from the Hajar Mountains to build the majestic structure's base. There is also a monorail that connects Palm Jumeirah to Dubai's beachfront. It transports around 20,000 passengers every day. There's also the Palm Jumeirah Tunnel, a six-lane underground bridge that connects the trunk of the palm to the crescent. A picture-perfect resort with exotic hotels lined up along the road leading to the beach, world-class amenities, and stunning sunset views from the beach. There are several taxis parked outside the monorail station that will take you to the Atlantis Hotel, which is also the biggest attraction on the island. Freedom Ship the Freedom Ship is a decades-old project for a floating metropolis that can house more than 80,000 people. It would be nearly four times the length of the world's longest cruise ship, and 25 stories would overshadow anything else on the ocean. It was inspired by the novel, Propeller Island, written by the legendary writer Jules Verne who is also the author of famous books such as, The Journey to the Center of the Earth, and, 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas. Although no technical specifics are provided, the book does feature the concept of making a massive raft which provided the base for the creation of this project. The project was proposed to be a 1,800-meter-long integrated metropolis with condominiums along with a hospital, school system, restaurant, casino, corporate and professional rental units, duty-free shopping, and other services. Sky Mile Tower Currently, the Burj Khalifa is the tallest structure in the world, 
which will soon be surpassed by another tall building from Dubai called the Jeddah Tower, which will have a total height of at least 1,000 meters. But, we have a new member on the list. Called the SkyMile Tower, it aims to outperform them all with a height of 1,600m which is approximately 5,249ft. This will make it the highest building in the world. The skyscraper which is dubbed the ultimate residential building will have a capacity of 55,000 people. The tower is built by Cone Peterson Fox Associates, an American firm that is well known for its architectural wonders. There will be shopping malls, restaurants, hotels, gyms, libraries, and hospitals in the skyscraper. It will also feature ample outside gardens for inhabitants on the upper levels to enjoy the fresh air. Dynamic Tower the Dynamic Tower, also known as the Da Vinci Tower is a projected 420-meter moving skyscraper envisioned by architect David Fisher. Similar to the Suite Vollard in Brazil, which was finished in 2001, each level is meant to rotate independently, resulting in a shifting form of the tower. Each level is meant to spin at a maximum speed of 6 meters, 20 feet, per minute, or once every 180 minutes. It was projected as the world's first prefabricated skyscraper, with each level consisting of 40 factory-built modules. Each floor is fashioned like a massive fidget spinner and can evolve independently. The structure would also generate its own energy using a combination of solar panels and wind turbines. Jeddah Tower The Jeddah Tower, which costs $1.20 billion, will be the showpiece of the Jeddah Economic City, a $20 billion mixed-use complex on the Red Sea coast. When completed, the tower will be the tallest in the world, reaching 1 km into the clouds. It was expected to be completed by 2020, but the project stalled first in 2018 and then due to the pandemic, and work is still halted as of today. It was designed by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture from Chicago. Smith, one of its partners, was also responsible for the Burj Khalifa while working for Skidmore, Owings & Merrill which is another architectural company. The Jeddah Economic Company who is responsible for the construction of the building hopes that the tower and city would boost Jeddah's global reputation as a business, commercial, educational, medical, and entertainment center. It is a physical embodiment of the Vision 2030 initiative's objective to diversify the kingdom's economy and lessen its dependency on oil. Atlantropa Atlantropa, often known as Panropa, was massive engineering and colonizing concept created in the 1920s by German architect Hermann Sorgel. It was a far-fetched project which aims to partially drain the Mediterranean Sea by erecting massive hydroelectric dams in numerous locations, including the Dardanelles Channel and the Strait of Gibraltar. Eventually, the project would have decreased sea levels by up to 660 feet in the Mediterranean Sea. The proposal also planned for the rerouting of the Nile and Congo rivers to water the Sahara Desert. Since then, most ideas to dam the Strait of Gibraltar have concentrated on the project's hydropower potential rather than any significant reduction in the Mediterranean sea level. Dubai City Tower The Dubai City Tower, commonly known as the Dubai Vertical City, is a mega-tall skyscraper that was announced in 2008. The structure is expected to be 2,400 meters tall. It is the tallest architectural proposal ever seriously contemplated and is inspired by the design of the Eiffel Tower. It would be three times the height of the Burj Khalifa and five times the height of the Empire State Building. The pointed design would serve to mitigate the wind's impact and spread the tower's weight over a larger region. Instead of an elevator, the proposed skyscraper would have a high-speed train to transport people between levels. It will comprise a central core with six outlying buildings that linked it every 100 stories. This design both stabilizes and distributes the structure's weight. Shimizu Tri-2004 Mega City Pyramid The Shimizu Tri-2004 Mega City Pyramid is a planned Shimizu Corporation project in Japan for the construction of a gigantic self-sustaining arcology pyramid above Tokyo Bay that would house enterprises, parks, and other amenities. This massive pyramid would be the largest structure in history, occupying little more than three square miles. The year 2004 is a reference to the intended height of 2,004 meters, or about 6,600 feet. Because of the weight, the suggested construction could not be erected using existing standard materials. The design is predicated on the eventual availability of super-strong lightweight materials based on carbon nanotubes and graphene, which are now under investigation. The building was supposed to begin in 2030, but no more action has been made. Chicago Spire the Chicago Spire, which resembled a massive corkscrew, would have been the highest skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere, dominating the Chicago skyline 2,000 feet above street level. The skyscraper was built and spearheaded by Santiago Calatrava, a Spanish architect-engineer, and Chicago developer Christopher T. Carley of the Fordham Company. 
The structure was inspired by smoke billowing from a campfire, and it presented an interesting architectural challenge. When it was first planned in July 2005 as the Fordham Spire, it included 116 floors, a hotel, and residences, and was topped with a broadcast antenna pole. At present, the project has been abandoned due to various legal reasons and eventually came to an end in 2016. This is all for today's video, we hope that you liked it, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.